welcome back to the Sara Nano channel! Currently I'm working on a big big project, a room makeover for a friend of mine. Super colorful, but because it's a so big project I decided to divide it into two videos. So today I'm gonna present you the biggest DIYs. <music> flip some items so I really hope that this video can inspire you to spice up something that you already have in your home but let's start with the first one that are curtains and I got inspired by this pin and to give the same color blocking vibe because we were working with the green curtains I decided to go for yellow tassels let's dive into the video to see how easy it is to make tassels Today I'm making some tassels with this thread. Three fingers, 15 times. Gather on the top. Cut on the bottom. I close. I'm making a loop on the top to create the head of the tassel in this way. Small soldiers. Hey! Come with me so that we can make a nice curtain. I decided to open them so that they become a little bit better, you see? So, a lot of work to do. Three years later. Ready! I went to my friend's home to get the curtain so I could finally attach the tassels to the sides. I am leaving for this color blocking situation. Hello! So let's start by folding the curtains. So I have the two extremities and I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna fold it, sorry, in half. I'm gonna pin where I fold it. One pin here and one pin here. And now I keep going on. So we have these, we fold in half and here I have four. I'm gonna pin one, two, three and four and folding 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 so I'm totally sure that the tassels has the same space between each other I'm gonna stitch the tassel where I have my pins so F. and just for reference I have made 13 tassels for each side see the curtain styled in my home and as you can see the vibe is not exactly the same but I love them so much that I can't wait for you to see how they are in my friend's home so stay tuned for the next video My friend's home is a one room studio for students, so I was really struggling for sitting solutions. I really want to give the idea of a living room without taking too much space. When something happened. You don't have any idea of what I found next to the trash. A jewel that is coming with me. armature that you can't see e. and now when you see the green light I will become green I think let me see let me see let me see <laughs> the before a little bit old style a little bit dirty a little bit destroyed but the visible deteriorated parts of this armchair weren't the only problem hello everyone so we have one problem about this armchair it's kind of wobbly so 
I have to fix it here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna inspect about what is underneath. Whoop, okay. It's working. One out. Many, many others to go. Wait, what? Uh, this is a really interesting structure. Almost there is no structure. We have to remove everything so that we can fix all the parts. Ready, steady, go! Et voila! I found out that the biggest problem when I move it is here. Do you see it? I'm thinking that I am gonna stack one piece here and one on the other side so it won't move. I'm gonna place some L-shaped brackets to reinforce the angles like everywhere. And because there is nothing really hard to sustain the weight, I cut to size one piece of wood. I'm gonna place it here and I'm gonna place L-shaped brackets here and there to make it steadier. The finished product, reinforcements everywhere and also two pieces of wood underneath. So it's super steady. You know what? I think it's perfect. Now that the structure was reinforced, it was time to upholster with new fabric all the armchair. But first, I really wanted to add some material in the corners because they were the most ripped one. The staple process will start by here because it's, this is a little bit damaged. So I will put one layer and then a second layer so that this can be soft. Ta -da -da -da. I was finally ready to use this incredible blue electric velvet fabric. The emerald blue arrived. I don't know if I can call it emerald, but like a Tuareg. Look how shiny it is. I will start taking the old pieces, cutting them with the shape of the new fabric. I will double it and shoot. And this is the situation at the back. And I'm gonna shoot here. Double here like so and then This is done and now I'm going to make the skirt. Let's bomb bomb it. I am gonna stapling down everything and the next piece will be this and then this. Ladies and gentlemen We start to see the end. I decided in the end to cover also this part. Ta -da! It is ready, but there is something missing there. I think I'm gonna attach a piece of gold. Now that I finished, I will cover it with a spare piece of fabric. Voila! So what I'm trying to do, I fold everything and then basically I staple here, staple here. And this is the result. Look how great is the color blocking between the armchair and the curtains. Let's see how it turned out in the end.
F for last, my favorite DIY that I have ever done. First, I got inspired by this pin. So I really wanted desperately to do a lamp with animals. But the only thing that I could find was a plastic toy crocodile for children. The thing that I'm most excited is this. So, I have to what? Make a hole into his mouth. Drill. Drill. My plan was to drill a hole so I could put the light bulb, make a C-section so I could fit the socket and prime and spray paint everything gold. Easy peasy, she said. Time to spray paint. Oops, totally forgot you to show you the golden part. This is what I got for the lamp. So the project is to open a little bit more this hole so that this piece can go easily, easily inside. Then I'm gonna cut the belly. So these where the uh, light have to be tilted will be inside the belly and from here the cable that is coming out from the tail. I opened the hole a lot more as you can see. Now it's really easy for the lamp to go inside. What I have to do is passing the cable inside the tail. Then I'm gonna link it to join it to uh, this part and this part is gonna go inside the belly and I'm gonna hot glue it zap, inside and then I have to screw the lamp. In the end I didn't even need to glue it, I just cut a small part of the socket and I just twisted the light bulb and it worked. Wish me luck, it is the first time that I do a lamp and it is this lamp. <laughs> okay, we have the crocodile. I'm gonna let this go inside and now I unscrew these two screws and now I'm gonna screw it back. Imagine I don't even have the right screwdriver, so I'm gonna use this thing. It should be done, so let's see if it is working. Three, two, one. No, it is blown up. A huge, huge thank you goes to the staff of Kafka's Greece because as you can see, clearly something wasn't right. And I brought all the crocodile to the store and they explained me that it turned out that I put the plaque of the socket upside down. So they fixed everything there and finally my crocodile was working. <laughs> A small suggestion, after spraying it gold, it was still sticky, maybe because of the plastic that was made the crocodile. So I put a layer of vanillic glue and now it is perfect. Now let's see the result. show you all the process for this makeover so stay tuned for the next video and if you have thoughts about this video as well please leave a comment here below I would like to read you all and if you want to support the Saranena channel please also give a like to this video and subscribe is the red button down there see you in the next one bye thrift flip thrift flip thrift flip <laughs> The emerald glue. Glue! In the end, I didn't need. Blah.
Oh, it's so expensive. Argo, it's so expensive. Maybe I can golden you as well. Pachito. Do an inspection in another. Hi, boys. Patato. What is it? <laughs> Three years later. Three years later. Three years later. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs>